Dave Palumbo here from Muscle Serpents Daily, and it's the weekend here, and we're gonna go in and take a look at a bunch of clutches that are hatching out, and I wanna show you some great stuff before the stuff starts going into shed. Um, they're a little dulled now, but I, I really wanna show you some cool stuff because I, I, I can't even figure out some of the stuff, so I'm gonna hope that you guys out there that will watch this video will help me ID some of the stuff because we got a lot of genes interacting with each other. A lot of potential worlds first in there, and that's exciting. So I know you guys like to see stuff that you've never seen before because I know I do. So let's go into the snake room, check out what's going on. It's a beautiful day here in Cape Coral, but it looks like it's gonna rain. We're back into that rainy season, which I love. A lot of people don't like the rain. I love when it rains. I don't have to water the lawn. I don't have to water my trees. Everything grows, and uh, when things are growing, things are prospering, and that's what I like. So let's check out and see what's going on. All right, I love to see this when I come into the snake room. These big female on a mound of eggs. I don't know how many eggs are there, but she's big, so maybe maybe it's not such a big mound of eggs, <laughs> but she's a big, definitely a big girl. She's my doublehead hypopied that I've produced a lot of hypopies from the last two years. Did a slightly different breeding this year. This year I bred her to my banana and she orange dream yellow belly pied that I found out this past year was also head hypo. So I plugged them into this to get some more genes into just, look, hypo pieds are beautiful, but hypo pieds with orange dream, banana, and enchi in it are gonna be even nicer. So that's what we're hoping for here. We'll see what we got. Let's take a little peek. Oh, we got some nice eggs under there. All right, we'll get her cleaned up. We'll put her in a new tub. We'll check out those eggs. All right, we're checking this girl out. Nice and hollowed out. See that little belly? Nice hollowed out belly. She got all her eggs out of her. She didn't have as many eggs as I thought, but she's looking good and she'll be up to breeder size next year. I guarantee you she'll pound some rats. And this is a nice size female. You know, I once told Pete Call, I said, Pete, why do you keep all these double heads and heads when you have visuals? It's like the double heads and heads are the best breeders. And he's right. I learned a valuable lesson that day. All right, there it is. <laughs> she looked, She wrapped up this one egg in a paper towel. I don't know how she did that one, but we'll have to peel that off. So we have uh, three slugs. We have one, two, three, four, five. Looks like I, that one under the paper towel is good. We have six nice eggs. I'll take it. I don't know if this little dimpled one is good, but it looks like a pretty decent egg. We'll have to candle it with the phone and see, but I'm pretty happy. You know, she had a really good really, really good clutch last year with the hypopied visual male. She had like 11 eggs, I think, and they were all good. But, you know, when you mix different males, sometimes you get different fertility rates. And I didn't, you know what, I didn't keep this male in that long with her because I was moving him around to a couple different females. So, you know, sometimes you get some, you don't get all the, uh, the over fertilized, but I'm happy. Well, this is the, the perfect clutch. These are the clutches you want to see. You don't get all these all so often, but there's um, seven nice eggs there. They all have veins and, and embryos in them. I, can't, I candled them with my phone, marked them so we know which way is up. It was interesting because these four are stuck together and they were perfect. This one was stuck together with one of the other ones and it was actually turned the wrong way. So I, I actually am glad I disconnected them and checked and I, and I flipped it so that it was in the right direction. I have a feeling she just laid these like very recently. I saw it starting last night, but it was really late. so. I think she laid them all morning. I mean, all night long, and she probably just finished a couple hours ago. All right, I'm happy. Let's put it in the incubator. All right, I want to go over a uh, clutch. I should probably wait till they shed out, but I, I'm just excited to show you guys. It was my, I'll take a quick look at these things before I pull them out separately. Banana anchi orange dream, yellow belly pie. This also had hypo and possible head albino. Bred to a Enchi, fire, orange dream. So, right off the bat, let's take out the uh, let's take out the, the, the no winners. <laughs> or as we say the normals. The nor I got news to you. Normals have been selling phenomenal on my website. Everyone wants normals now because you can't find them anywhere. There's two great normals right here. Anyone who wants normals, contact me. These are actually they're not normals. They're actually head pies. And they're possible head hypos and possible head albinos. So hardly anything that looks normal. Look at this guy. Look at the, look at the little weird pattern on him. Little circles on his back. That's not a normal. That's for sure. They look normal though. 
but that's about as normal as it gets. So I think I have another one. Do I have another one that's kind of, oh, no, this one's not normal. All right, so then we put this one here, which is definitely, I would say, orange dream. You can see the difference between what looks to be a normal and an orange dream, obviously. A lot of orange in there. Might be some yellow belly in there as well. I don't think so, though. That might just be orange dream. This is really testing my, uh, my genetic knowledge or my guessing knowledge, I should say. Then we put down another one here. Let's get another baby. They're all intertwined. We have a lot of them in this litter and they don't want to let go of each other. But you can see the difference between Orange Dream and, and that. All right, now we have this one. This is what I would probably call maybe Super Orange Dream or Orange Dream Anchi Fire. I don't know. I don't think this has fire. It looks like Enchi Orange Dream to me. It could be a Super Orange Dream. Not quite sure. It's gonna be a lot of not quite sure's in this litter. Now, the only reason I think it's not is look at this one. Let's put another one down here. This one is really, really, really clean. And I would say that is probably a Super Orange Dream, Super Enchi, maybe even some fire in there, I'm not sure. So, so far we haven't seen any banana, okay? Remember, the daddy was a banana. The daddy's banana, probably everything that's not banana is gonna be a female. I haven't sexed these yet, but very good good odds. Because banana is sex linked, as we know, and my father is a nail maker. This is one of my favorites in the litter though. Oops, sorry. Very clean. You can see how much cleaner this one is than this one. They could be the same, and this might just have fire in it, because um, it's further reduced and it's lighter. You can see this is more orangey. This is a little bit lighter. So you can see Orange Dream, maybe Super Orange Dream Enchi, maybe Super Enchi, Super Orange Dream, not sure. Now, now we go to the bananas. Now this, I, I believe this is a banana. I see purple, so I'm assuming it's banana. Super, super clean looking. This is probably Super Orange Dream, Enchi, Banana, uh, possible Yellow Belly, probably Yellow Belly too, because I see some blushing there. This one here is more purpley. So uh, I think there's only one copy of Orange Dream in this one. This looks like Orange Dream, Banana maybe, Yellow Belly. Really nice. Crazy. Look at this one. Banana, Super Enchi, or Banana Enchi, Super Orange Dream. I don't know. Who knows? I'm going to have to sell these as possible. I don't know. They're going to be very high end, no matter what. I'm selling them because they look awesome. I'm going to obviously keep a bunch of these too. Look at this one. What's this one? Look how clean that one is. These two look almost identical. I would say Orange Dream, or Super Orange Dream. I think this one's Super Enchi because it has the disconnect, the head is like, has that little island here. That's Super Enchi right here. I would say Orange, Super Orange Dream, Super Enchi, Banana, Fire. That's what I would guess. I don't know. How do you tell? I mean, I have a lot to compare them with. Look at this one. Look how nice that one is. That's definitely got a lot of orange in it. A lot more orange in it. This is gorgeous, this one. This might be the nicest one, although it's not the lightest one. I think this is only one copy of Enchi. I think Enchi can erase some of that purple and it reduces the, the, the patterns. I think, and the ones that don't look as purple as this one, I don't think they're lacking orange dream. I think they're just lacking I think these guys might be Super Enchi's. Look at this. This is the isolated head circle where it's not connected. That's Super Enchi. We got some runaways here. Hold on, let's go back. I think this might be the only Super Enchi. Super Enchi, Super Orange Dream Fire. This might be one copy. The Super Enchi, Super, this might be Enchi Orange Dream, Super Orange Dream Fire. 
as you can tell, it's impossible to know, but this is a spectacular clutch. I will make some of these available. Um, contact me, you know, it was it's really exciting when you can make something that looks this beautiful and have a bunch of them in the same clutch. I could have gone to try to get a create pies. This, this, I, I was going for color. I didn't care about pied or anything. Everything is head pied in this and, and everything is possible head. Hypo and possible head um, albino, but Really, I was just, this is what I was going for, and I got it. Really clean, clean looking orange dream, super orange dream stuff, with Enchi, possible super Enchi stuff, and fire. Man, those, those and the yellow belly, those combinations are just spectacular. I mean, once again, look at this guy. We went back to this guy. This guy looks spectacular, and I pulled him out, and then you put him next to all these other guys, and it's like, wait a minute, what's going on here? All right, guys, that's going to be it for today here at uh, Palumbo's Pythons and Boas Weekend Edition. We missed a couple you know, videos during the week, so I wanted to throw this one in here. Obviously, we got a lot of stuff in the incubator that's hatching out now and exciting stuff. I'm hoping to see some more boa litters hopefully laid down. I'm, I never know when they're going to come. I'm always a nervous wreck. I always think just when I think they're going to come, then I think they're not going to come, and then all of a sudden I walk in and I got a boa litter. So that's how that works. But we have a lot of pythons uh, hatching in the incubator. We actually have the Burmese Python clutch hatching too, but I'm going to hold off on that one until Monday because there's a few of them that a lot of them, probably half of them haven't come out yet. So, but there's some cool stuff. I, if you guys want to see like advanced, you know, stuff before I actually do videos on it, you got to, you know, follow my Instagram, uh, Palumbo's Pythons. I put up a lot of stuff there or my Facebook page, Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Uh, they're both on both of those pages. So you guys can see what's coming out before anyone gets to see them. Because a lot of times, it takes me a couple days or a week to get to the video but if you want to see stuff as it's happening it kind of goes right onto the instagram so you can check that out as well and if you have any ideas on what some of these snakes might be that i don't even know and if you think my theories are correct or not correct believe me i'm not my feelings won't be hurt i welcome your suggestions because when we put our, our brains together we figure stuff out and then we can pass that information on to the next generation all right, guys, you know what to do. It's going to start raining and pouring here, so we better get going. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit that like button. I'll see you back Monday morning.